What's going on guys? How you doing? Today's video this is another donation request. This is for Mike. This is Alan Parsons project. The song is games people play and I will come out right now and say because I imagine a lot of people will be like No, I, I I didn't I've heard of Alan Parsons and Alan Parsons project, but I didn't get into him or his music and I see that he's associated with Pink Floyd. That's another band that I just didn't get into. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't, my dad wasn't listening to Pink Floyd. He was listening to Zeppelin and Hendrix and Doobie Brothers and Toto and Journey and stuff like that. And, and uh, Jefferson Starship and other things, the Rascals, the other kinds of different things. He wasn't listening to Pink Floyd. So I didn't get Pink Floyd growing up. And I wasn't listening to it when I got into college because I went the whole R&B, soul, jazz route. So there's a lot of like rock and classic rock stuff that I've had to fill in. And Pink Floyd is one of those. I've played a ton of Pink Floyd songs, right? But I'd never dug into their albums. And Roger Waters kind of turns me off. <laughs> <laughs> like nowadays like maybe he said you know it's great or whatever and there's that like Pompeii video or whatever I feel like there's and also I've been to those like laser light shows so I think I've heard I have heard Dark Side of the Moon or whatever you know like like the whole album I, I think I have pretty sure but I never owned any of their albums sorry to disappoint you <laughs> so I know that this isn't Pink Floyd but I know I'm. I know people are gonna ask me because I see that he's he he's related. <laughs> he did Abbey Road and Let It Be. Those are albums that I know. Okay, those are albums that I know. He did a uh, Year of the Cat. We checked that out. I hadn't heard that before until somebody asked for it on the channel. Yeah, this is games people play. We're gonna check it out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, all kinds of ways, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to watch, listen to, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. In the notes section, leave a link, leave a description. Let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreesemail at gmail.com. Thank you, guys. Okay, so Alan Parsons Project. British rock band between 75 and 19, 1975 and 1990, 11 albums in the in 15 years. Many of their albums are conceptual in nature and focus on science fiction, supernatural, literary, and so, sociological themes. Among the group's most popular songs are I Wouldn't Want to Be Like You, Games People Play, which is what we're doing, Time, Serious Eye in the Sky, and Don't Answer Me. Okay, so this song, is from their fifth album, The Turn of a Friendly Card, from 1980. Fifth album, Progressive Rock. Oh, Turn of a Friendly Card is freaking 16 minutes long. Wow, geez. Concept album with its theme focused on the gambling industry and the fate of gamblers, with more than one reference to Las Vegas. Interesting. Musically, it's a more melodic and accessible album than its predecessors. Album was recorded in a record short time of two weeks in Paris. Usually, the Alan Parsons project would take many months to record an album. It looks like there was a lot of budget things happening. Up to this point, Alan Parsons project albums have been packaged in gatefold sleeves, increasing budgetary constraints of record companies made this album the beginning of all subsequent releases to be single sleeve packaged. All right, so we're checking out games people play. All right, let's get to this. Bam.
says that. <laughs> It's like a pop it's kind of poppy but you can hear their tendencies of their like prog tendencies but it is a little bit pop, like more accessible yeah you definitely hear that i liked it actually i like this this sounds cool i mean i yeah i get like the pop the pop part of it like how it's a little bit i don't think cheesy or hokey is what i mean but i think you guys know what i mean hopefully you know what i mean and you know, it's it's got that hook and it's got that dance beat, you know, with the hi hat going. That makes it kinda like hokey or cheesy or whatever kind of. But I still I still like it. I still like the song. It's still interesting enough to me. You could tell that they can all play or at least write a song. Sounds cool to me. So is was the keys player Alan Parsons or was that was something that I didn't look up ahead of time? Like who's who? So Chris Rainbow, lead and backing vocals. Oh, Elmer Gantry, Dave Terry, lead vocal. I don't understand. There's two names there. Eric Wolfson. So, is Alan Parsons just like the producer engineer? Is he, was he the guy on the desk, like mixing? He's not like, it says pro projectron on games people play. What is a projectron? A device built by Alan Parsons. Wow, this guy. Wow. It's an analog sample playback device, similar in general concept to Mellotron. Ah, wow. Can I see a photo? Okay, so that was Alan Parsons. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like the song. I did. I liked it. You know, it was a little poppy. I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. Cool. Nice one. Yeah, nice one. I dig it. All right, we got one more. Request from Mike coming up. Catch you then. <laughs> 